How's it going? I've been out a while. Hey, yeah. No rest for the weary. You gonna be up all night? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I know, I was... Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. Just trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Here, come here, I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh, yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula angustifolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loans, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth, go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hand. <sighs> All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower. All right. And then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. You know, I pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. And blood apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> Get ready? Mm-hmm. Go. There you go, that's perfect. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> so, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that... That is so... Oh my... Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm that's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. There's more over here. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, that's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. <laughs> so, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer? Wow, look at you, being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers, one fully patched. 
I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? Okay, you try picking some now. Lavender? You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring him here. <sighs> oh. <laughs> wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. Oh, if it's <laughs> not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey, oh, 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 oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer for myself on the way over. <laughs> should be it. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm a little out of it, wouldn't you? You said something? It's, uh, it's something Sarah showed me a few summers ago. Or... Anyway, uh, there's a plant that grows out here called lavender. It grows in the shade, along rivers, lake shores. I'm gonna see if I can find something. Shit, brother. The way my arm's feeling, I'll try anything, but fuck the lavender brings something I can smoke. Whatever. I'm gonna find some of this shit, I'm gonna make a burn sap out of it, and you're gonna shut the hell up about it. <laughs> okay. Sorry, brother. Just don't stir crazy up here. Well, don't worry, but we're riding north, I swear to God, not too much longer. You hear me? Yeah.
Jesus, something went down. Wonder if the poor bastards had anything worth looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Should stop for fuel. Hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it! Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. We were picking lavender, and uh, she Listen. taught. <laughs> she taught me how to make this sap for Burns. And uh, look, I got out today. Okay. I actually had a look around the mound. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey, hey, just give me a couple days, okay? Just ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We got hit. Hit hard. Rippers. A couple of dozen, Good. maybe more. Goddamn rippers. That little gal you were so worried about? Yeah, Lisa. Wait, hold on. What happened? Where's Lisa? Gone. They took her and three others. Alki followed him as far as he could. But they're holed up at Belknap Crater. He came back to round up more men, but... God damn it! Okay, look, I've seen what those sons of bitches do to hostages. I'm not waiting. Stop by when I can. Peek it out.
I got this. Hang on. You're not gonna make it out here. I know where there's a camp. Camp? Where? Where? S show me. I I'll go. Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. I, 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 I was done. Oh, shit! You know? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Tell him it was Deacon. Deacon St. John. Now, just keep running. Stay off the road. Asshole. They won't be joining your goddamn cult.
free rule the world, huh? Not if they're all dead. No, she's not in here. Where are you, Lisa? She's got to be out here somewhere. I must stay on the path. The future is now. The day is the day. I follow yeah. Carlos to the rising. I tremble in their presence. I worship the free. Only they have ascended. I have given up my name. Seek the release. Sometimes they set us free. The release has brought us low. No one is joining you! Hey, look. Now you're found, yeah? Here, they dragged her up here. Lisa's got to be up there.
Best you can. Don't stop. Don't stop. Right, don't stop. No matter what. You ready? Huh? Go.
Attention now, go! My bike. Run. We're safe now. Are you okay? No. Listen to me. To the south of here, there's a camp at Lost Lake. It's nothing like the hot springs. Iron Mike, he's not like Mrs. Tucker. I hated Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be alone there. This is a nice camp. And it's a safe place. Okay. Hold on. Ricky! Ricky, come back! Ricky, are you still on this channel? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon? Ugh, long time no here. What do you want? Just... meet me, okay? On the Cascade Highway, where it intersects with the old Belknap Road. I'm heading there now. You know what Iron Mike said? The night you and Booze rode out of here? Uh, oh uh, yeah. That. Uh, listen! That's why I radioed you and not Schizo. Iron Mike doesn't even have to know about this. I got a kid here. What? Well, I mean, not a kid. Uh, a survivor. She's been out here a long time. A, a, you've got a survivor, and you're bringing her to Lost Lake. No, you're bringing her to Lost Lake. I'm bringing her to you. Ricky, you there? Yeah, okay. okay. I'm on my way. Lost Lake out. Ricky? Uh, yeah, okay. You're welcome. You're gonna like it there, kid. Like I said, Iron Mike, he's, um, uh, he likes to yell a lot. Look, don't let him bother you. You got that? Uh, anyway, there's this guy named Schizo. If he bothers you at all, well, just tell Ricky. Or, uh, tell Addy. She's the camp's doctor. You tell her. And Addie's, she's good. She's got medicine, you know, to clean up those, uh, to clean up those cuts. I mean, you don't want to get infected. They're gonna help you out, kid. You can count on them, even if you, uh, you know, even if you screw up. All right. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deke. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh, Lisa, this is uh, Ricky. She's going to uh, take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not going to pay you for this. Pay me for, oh, come on. That's not, excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. You just, mm -hmm. you just take her. Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with her? She was, had a run in with some rippers. I had to. Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? I love fishing. It's, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Would you want to go fishing with me? Yeah? Come on, I'm gonna tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my God. The fish in the morning, they jump this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're gonna have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, okay? Ready? I really appreciate it.
you there. Hot Springs to Deacon St. John. Tucker, I'm here. I expected you back by now. Did you find the girl, Lisa? No, Tuck, no. The, the uh, Rippers cut her up pretty bad, and she, uh, she didn't make it. God damn it. We needed her. Now the digging's going to get even further behind. Well, look on the bright side, Tuck. One less mouth to feed, yeah? You get out there and find me some more bodies, or there won't be any mouths left to feed. Tucker out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get right on that. Deacon St. John. How you doing, buddy? Jazzy, how's it going? Sorry. Hey, Deke, how's it going? Damon, how's it going? Good choice. Nice. I'll fix that gun up for you, nice and good. Freaks ain't gonna mess with you now. I'll be seeing you. Deke. Anything. Camper's me. life, hey Manny. I hear ya. Later, man. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. Hey, Deke, how's it going, man? Hey, you Manny. Yeah, it is hard to find fuel out there. What's going on? What's up with you? Deacon St. John. Damon. What? Oh, what is this? Look out. It smells it really bad.
to see you, Deke. Hey, Damon. How's life? 